Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be comparing two of the best 2x2s on the market, the Cubicle Shinhan M and the Cubicle Truwin M, to see which one you should get. So let's get started off with the price. Both the Shinhan and the Truwin come in at $31.99, so these cubes are definitely on the pricier side. So if money is a problem or you don't need an amazing 2x2 right now, these cubes might not be for you. And also, both cubes are 50 millimeters. The Shinghan is slightly lighter at 66 grams, with the True Win at 68 grams. But 2 grams doesn't really make much difference, and it won't affect your solves, at least in my case. You can get the True Win in black or white, and the Shinghan in black, white, and primary. And also keep in mind that the Cubicle Labs fully sets up your cube, which was evident when it came. I've barely done anything with these cubes, and it's perfectly attentioned and everything. You can even see the original loop the Cubicle gave this cube is not even close to drying yet on the Chinghan, and the Chuan also retains loop very well. Quickly to corner cutting, the Chuan has a bit better corner cutting than the Chinghan. You can do over 45 in reverse, over half the piece, um, but the Chinghan can't quite get 45 or over, but realistically, of course, you would never need that much corner cutting. Now, taking a close look at the pieces, they look very similar. The Chuan seems to have a bigger base, um, and its internals are white, but that's about it. Now to the performance, the cubes have quite a few differences. The Truin has slight bumpiness between the turning of the magnets. When you're turning it, you can't feel the bumpiness necessarily, but there has a bit of a slow feel to it. And that is one of my biggest complaints about this cube. Another thing is that it doesn't feel solid enough. It's had a share of drops, but when turning, it just feels like there's too much space in the pieces or the core or something. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe, but you can kind of hear it in its turning. Moving on to the Shinghan, right out of the box, it was a little slow, even though that was expected. It took a little longer for it to go away. I actually like the factory magnetized Gogong Shinghan M better for the first few weeks, but since then it has sped up quite a lot. As for the smoothness of the turning, you can hardly feel anything until the magnets come. What you do feel, which is a slight, slight scratchy feeling, is very satisfying and makes this cube a joy to solve. So, because the price doesn't really matter if you're considering to buy one of these cubes, it comes down to the performance of the cube, and it might be obvious what the winner is, but I definitely prefer the Shinhan over the Chuen. Even though it was a bit slow at first, it got a lot better, and now it's smooth, um, fast, and stable through the most important aspects of a cube, in my point of view, and I can firmly say that the cube of Shinhan 2x2M is going to be my main. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you learned something and this video helped um, if you're deciding between these two cubes. And we recently hit 1,000 views on this channel. And even though it doesn't seem like much has suppressed anything I thought would happen. So I want to thank everyone who liked, subscribed, commented, and even just watched my videos. Um, thank you so much. And I'll see you next week. Bye.